Hi Pisces, welcome to your Love Connection reading for the end of September. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're a new welcome, if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information that you need. Decks I'm using, personal reading information, social media, um, playlist. There's tons of information there, so please do go check that out. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. Those who have reached out for personal readings and those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or a donation to the channel is very much appreciated. So thank you so much for all your support. Really, really means a lot to me to help this channel grow and being a part of that. So thank you, thank you so much so we can get these messages out to the people that really need to hear them. So thank you, thank you. Okay, Pisces. End of September love connection reading. This can be any type of connection with anyone you have in mind. So keep that in mind. May or may not resonate as all that is stated below how this works. So if you're not sure, please do go read that. Please don't leave me comments that it did not resonate because then obviously it wasn't your reading. I'm just going to de delete those um, silly comments. So, <laughs> okay. Uh, Pisces. So I hope everybody's doing well, going into fall already. Can you believe where's the year going? So this is a Zodiac Oracle, so we'll see what we get. And if you don't resonate with what comes out here, that's totally fine. We'll see what we get for Pisces. Love connection, end of September. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. What do we have for Pisces? The end of September. I just want one. What, is, what may some Pisceans be dealing with the end of September? Just one card. And they're being stubborn. Are you dealing with somebody stubborn? Because they don't want to give me a card. Oh, there we go. Aries. So some of you could be dealing with in Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And if not, that's totally, totally fine. All right, so... Let's get an energy of your love connection for the end of September. An energy for your love connection for the end of September. And then I'll get one for you, one for them. How you are both feeling towards each other and about the connection. And then we'll clarify with tarot. Some extra messages at the end over here. All right. So what is the love connection energy like between Pisces and their person, whoever they're dealing with at this time? In this love connection, the end of September spirit, please. Thank you so much. We have one card for Pisces. One card for Pisces. Take that one. Okay, so we have well-being, which is number 21, which is three, which is um, coming together, working together, teamwork collaboration, compromise. So you may have to work uh, at, on the health of this relationship for some reason here. You know, three is a um, number of building, building together, you know, with teamwork, collaboration. So there may be something in your relationship here that needs work, uh, needs to be worked on. Are you working together to bring um, a healthier relationship between the two of you? I don't know. Let's see. Okay, so one for you. I guess that's your card. And one for your person. One for your person. How is your person feeling? Okay. So you have listened to your body. Well, wow, that goes right along with well-being. And we have seven and two, which is nine. Which nine is um, almost at the completion of something. But nine is also has different meanings in tarot. It can be uh, stress, anxiety. So if you're feeling that, this could be, you know, listening to what your body is telling you. Um, it also can mean, you know, joy, happiness, which is coming true. Um, being a wounded warrior, but you keep going on. And also, uh, there's one more. Um, being stable and grounded and independent. So... I don't know. That may not mean anything, but uh, listen to your body. So, and they have unexpected eight and four, which is 12, which is three, which is 
again about working together so they may you know say to you you know you know maybe this isn't really like listen to your body it could be listening to your gut your intuition your mind your thoughts here um you know I'm, I'm getting a feeling maybe something happened here um and maybe you decided to take a break or spend some time alone to work on you what you really wanted moving forward and now they unexpectedly come forward and say hey you know i want to work on the well-being of this relationship i want to work at it can we work it out can we rebuild this it's sort of like the message i'm getting so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck since they're relationships so i do feel like this is a possible soulmate relationship here we have nine and two which is eleven two which is two people coming together as one so you know that is soulmate union so so then underneath there we have self-love so i'm really getting a feeling here that maybe you just decided here i need to take some time for myself to really decide uh what i need to do what i really want um for myself for this relationship and learning you know self-love yourself taking care of yourself well-being there it's seven no can speak of it's a divinely guided number seven but can also speak of confusion um and things of that nature also so and then we have boundaries under there five which is change so there may need to be some change in this uh, connection some boundaries to be set in some way if that makes any sense to you okay so let's see let's see all the cards here A lot of cards so far. A few more down. All right, so let's see what's going on with the tarot. Think about that. All right, so let's clarify with the tarot now. One for you, one for them. Extra clarification as we go. All right, so why does Pisces have, listen to your body here. We have one card for Pisces. Why do they have, listen to your body here, spirit please, thank you so much. For Pisces. One here and one here. Okay. So you have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So yeah, you weren't feeling stable and grounded. Whatever was happening before you decided to um, either take a break or whatever, spend some time apart to figure things out. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse is not feeling stable, not feeling grounded. Um, maybe even, you know, insecure, you know, just not a stable place. And they have the Eight of Cups here, and that's your energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So, I mean, this is, you know, walking away from something unfulfilling here. But there's always a chance here to come back. You see this person here waiting, this child here, like, waiting for someone to come back. So, um... You know, the Eight of Cups here, it does speak of, you know, walking away. So I definitely feel like there's been some time apart here. So let's see. Let's get some clarity now. One for you. One for them. Yeah, so now we have the Six of Cups. So this definitely feels like... Uh, soulmate union you know the six of cups in the upright here speaks of um people from your past reminiscing old times childhood past lives um someone maybe you've been with for a very long time but here are the six of cups in reverse um 
that's usually, you know, the Six of Cups talks about soulmate union and the Six of Cups in reverse is like not coming into union. So I definitely feel like there's separation here. And you do see here with them the Five of Swords. So that's air energy. So that's deciding, you know, just to stop all this game playing, this mind playing uh, and just drop it all and just walk away. So they have two cards here of walking away. So something happened here where you both decided to, uh, maybe it was a breakup um, or something like that, but definitely, um, definitely, definitely not together right now. Or you were on a break or you are on a break because something happened. So let's see what happened here. What is the actual situation here? All right, so we have the Six of Swords, so that's a good energy. And then we have the Knight of Swords in reverse. So yeah, there's no communication right now. And then we have the Two of Swords. So connecting to you is the Six of Swords. So, you know, the Six of Swords talks about, um, you know, leaving trouble choppy waters behind and moving forward to a safer, more uh, peaceful, harmonious place. You know, learning your lessons, leaving the lessons behind you don't need, only taking with you what you need. You see this uh, couple here, this family, I think it's just a couple, arriving at their peaceful destination. So it's either you're going it alone now, or now um, maybe you, you're wanting to come into a peaceful resolution and move forward peaceably, peacefully in this connection, but they have a very indecisive energy here. This is air energy. This is unable to decide whether or not to come back to this. This is very, uh, very, very indecisive. They cannot make up their mind. And then the Knight of Swords in reverse, connecting the two of you. I feel, you know, the Knight of Swords here is about rushing in with communication, but in reverse, there's like no, no truth, no truthful communication, no, um, of any kind right now I feel like you're apart you're wanting somehow some way shape or form to move forward in a more healing better peaceful place either alone or with them but there's no communication and they're very indecisive whether or not they want to return to this because they have two cards of walking away here all right so let's get more clarity let's get more clarity on this actual situation spirit please we have a couple cards for the more cards for the actual situation okay so we have the ten of swords in reverse and the two of pentacles upright so on your side we have the ten of swords which is air energy so this is something <laughs> you feel is like already over and done. So this could be just a split up here and now you've gone your separate ways and maybe you remain friends. This could be the sincere relationship here. You know, I do consider that kind of like a soulmate card, but with the self-love and the boundaries and the well-being and all this separate energy, leaving energy, no communication and decisive energy, um, and the Ten of Swords in reverse here is like this ending has already happened and now this person is just looking back on the whole situation and looking back on everything that has happened. So this is like an ending that's like already happened and it's just like done and over. So maybe, you know, there's no communication, but maybe, you know, you left it on a peaceful resolution and maybe this is just you moving forward on your own in a more peaceful place. Because um, you do see two people here, but it doesn't necessarily have to be two people. But maybe that could be the two of you just having peaceful resolutions and closure. And now just moving forward, you know, on your own. Because they definitely hear indecisive, you know. And again here with two twos, with being indecisive, can't make up their mind. And then juggling all this stuff around, like their thoughts, uh, things in their life, just... A lot of stuff here um, it's kind of like an imbalanced energy and indecisive energy so 
they're confused. They don't know what to do. And maybe you just decide, well, you know what, then, then this is done. I'm going off on my own. You're looking back on it like, you know, it's just done then. If you can't make up your mind, if you don't want to work on it, um, then uh, I guess that's it. And they're still like, well, I don't know. I don't know. Like very confused. So, <laughs> wow. Very, very confused person. Like they just can't make up their mind at all. At all. All right. So let's see what your advice is. Um, Pisces. If they're not an Aries, I mean, they could have been another fire sign. Uh, but that doesn't mean anything. They could be anybody here. I mean, all right. It's all just energy. So if this is relating to you, but the signs don't, that's fine. So let's get advice for you. A couple cards for you. So we have the Four of Swords. And we have the Nine of Swords. Wow, the Four and the Nine. So I believe that's in reverse. So yeah, I believe that's the Four of Swords in reverse. And this is the Nine of Swords. No, I think that's... This deck confuses me sometimes. So <laughs> this is the Vice Versa deck. Um, I know this is the Nine of Swords in reverse, I think. No, that's upright. And this is in reverse. So the Four of Swords here, this is all air energy here now. So the Four of Swords, there's a lot of air coming through. So maybe they could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. A lot of air or they could have that mainly in their chart but the four of swords here is about again taking a break recuperating going off on your own as in well-being here healing thinking contemplating and then you have the nine of swords here which is you know stress anxiety worry fear and that sort of energy so your advice is to whatever it has you stressed out or anxious or nervous or being in a fearsome energy is just to kind of heal and mend, take some time alone, you know, and heal yourself as with well being there. So, but you know, you have the nine here, but then you have the 10 here. Like, you know, it's done. You're just looking back on it. Like, yep, it's done. You know, it's over. You know, it's like this man, he's now out of the shell here and he's just looking back on um, the ending so I think this is telling you not to stress about it to worry about it just spend you no know, work on yourself as in well-being have that self-love healing you know all right so let's get some extra clarity here on your advice So we have the King of Wands, okay, and we have the Page of Cups. You know, so the King of Wands here is a very fiery energy, and that is the Leo Sagittarius energy. So this is someone who is very determined, go-getter, passionate, um, has a lot of, it's very courageous and brave, goes after what they want, a lot of drive, determination, ambitions, very successful. And the Page of Cups here could be, you know, reaching out, just, you know, you being the strong, brave one here and just reaching out maybe with an apology. This can be an apology, uh, a message of compass compassion, peaceful resolution, apologies here. You just, your advice is just to be the strong one here. If you feel like closure needs to be had, apologies need to be had, or something of that nature, then, you know, as much as they walk away and they're indecisive, Maybe you're the one that has to come forward with these messages of whatever it is for you. If you feel like it needs to just end, whatever, tight of the games and indecisiveness <clears throat> or whatever was going on here. And just bringing closure, apologies, whatever here in the situation. Instead of uh, being, you know, stressed out about it here and just thinking and thinking and thinking, should we, you know, talk about this, bring closure, apologize? I would say just do it. All right, so let's see <clears throat> what your possible outcome would be here in this situation. Sorry, it's not a more positive reading, but um, it is what it is. So if you're not uh, resonating with this, then it's probably not your reading. 
All right, one card for Pisces for the possible outcome. So we have the Five of Pentacles. So, you know, well, the Five of Pentacles, it's in reverse. So you're starting to come out of that neglected, because you now you see this man, he's out in the cold, and he's cold and hungry and abandoned. But now he's he's sought, sought shelter, you know, he's not feeling, you know, he's a little down, but, you know, now he's starting to feel probably a little better, you know, he's not in that state anymore. So he's starting to come out of this um, hurt, abandoned, cold, lonely feeling of the situation. You're starting to, you know, come out of that now for the outcome here. And I think it will help if you at least extend an offer out to apologize or bring closure or whatever so you can kind of leave it and be sincere and kind of leave it in a sincere, may not be a continued relationship, but just, you know, leave it on sincere terms. So we have the Ace of Pentacles and we have the Fool in reverse. So the Ace of Pentacles is a brand new beginning. So... I think you're ready to go off on your own here and have your own brand new beginning. Um, is that in reverse or is it? Mm, this deck. Uh, nope, that's upright. So this is a brand new beginning, a secure, stable, grounded beginning. So, you know, and this is brand new handed to you by the divine. So I think you're ready now to go off venture on your own um, for your own brand new beginning here. Um, as you get over this, you're starting to, you know, heal and get over this. And now you have the full energy. So you're not quite there yet. Uh, you're still learning all your lessons as you're healing with the four of swords energy, as maybe you try to bring closure to the situation. You're almost at that point of taking the leap here and jumping off and having a brand new beginning leap of faith, secure, stable ground and beginning here. But like I said, not quite there yet, because I feel like this hasn't come to full closure yet because zero here is reset, resetting, restarting over at zero with a clean slate. So I think you need to bring closure or something here in this situation so you can move on and take this leap of faith and have this brand new beginning. It's there waiting for you. All right, so I guess we'll do bottom of the deck. So we have the, so this is the Hierophant in reverse so yeah i really think <laughs> taurus energy here so the hierophant speaks of commitment and those sorts of things and um you know it's faith religion spirituality um things that are moral just and right and that sort of nature commitment marriage definitely feel like in reverse here you know no longer being in this relationship and then you have the nine of cups here uh which I think is in reverse. So yeah, I mean, your wishes, your dreams, your hopes can all come true for the future. Once I really feel like once you bring closure to this, then you can move on in a stable, grounded uh, new beginning here. This is the Knight of uh, Pentacles. So moving on, taking slow, gradual steps, baby steps, growing, blossoming, abundance here. For your future and then you have the page of pentacles which i think is in no it's in the upright so you know again that's extending out the offer you know little baby offer uh messages it's stable and grounded secure so it could be, again, just extending out an offer to apologize, to bring closure, just having that uh, conversation. And the Knight of Wands here. So again, moving forward passionately in your new beginning after all this closes up for you. Moving on in a whole new direction with fire, passion, uh, zest for life. Yep. So I do see closure needs to be had here. I do see... A commitment coming to an end here with the five of um, the Hierophant in reverse, unfortunately. That's what I see. So, whatever that was for you, if it was just a relationship of some kind, or, I mean, I didn't get the Justice card here, so, I mean, it could be a marriage. 
Um, I'm not really getting that. It could be just uh, you were dating or um, just started to be more serious. And for some reason here, it just wasn't working out. Um, I don't know. Things with you, with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, things just weren't stable. Um, so I don't Maybe they were just juggling around too much in their things in their life. And they didn't have you as a priority. And maybe that's why you decided to end it. You know, maybe you were, you know, without them more than you were with them. And you were like, you know what? It's not worth it. All right. So let's get some extra messages for you, Pisces. Pisces. Wow. So we have Nourish. 23, which is five, which is all about change. I do feel like a big change here. And nourish again with the well being, the self care, the self love, setting boundaries, uh, listening to your mind, your heart, your body, and your soul. Um, and maybe it was just unexpected to them how you all of a sudden said, you know what, I don't think this is going to work. Um, or maybe they unexpectedly walked away because, you know, they have two cards of walking away here. So maybe they unexpectedly walked away from you or vice versa, however that works. But here, nourish, now nourishing yourself, your heart, your soul, your mind, moving forward. And nothing go, has gone wrong. Seven, which is a divinely guided number. Um, this is balance with the yin and yang energy, um, masculine, feminine energy. So I think it's just trying to tell you that, you know, there's nothing really you could do. I mean, you didn't do anything wrong. They didn't really do anything wrong, I guess. I guess it's just something that was meant to be. It's just the way it was supposed to work out. Maybe whatever lessons you learn, they learn from whatever this was. Uh, it was what it was and it was meant to be. Uh, whatever happened in your situation. So don't blame you. Don't blame them. Um, it just is what it is. Wow. Okay. Soul mating. So, I mean, they could have been a soulmate, but seven here again with divinely guided. I mean, they, it could have been just a short term soulmate to learn, you know, a few lessons here. But uh, also mating can also be uh, realigning with your, your own soul, your own self, having that self love and um, caring for yourself and nourishing yourself and just... Um, caring for yourself all right so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck wellness wow so we have double confirmation here of wellness which is six 24 six which is about balance peace harmony as with the six of swords you had over here which is about that uh peaceful going to more peaceful place so yep so i definitely feel like here just working on yourself. I feel like you're just going solo now, working on yourself, your self-love, rebuilding yourself. Um, you know what boundaries to set now, going forward in future relationships, um, moving forward. So uh, unfortunately, I do see an ending here. And it may be mutual or it may be unexpected because they do have unexpected here. Um, but I do see closure needs to be had. Peace apologies or something like that so that you both can move forward in a better state and a better well-being okay pisces i'm sorry it wasn't a more uh, positive reading but it is what it is so if this didn't resonate for you you can check the description box below for past uh readings and maybe something there will resonate for you i do consider them all timeless so if you see something that catches your eye i would say disregard the dates on them and watch it anyway maybe a message in there for you and if you do like how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general and love for all the signs. So that's four readings a month. So please don't miss out on that. And best of luck to you here in your situation moving forward. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.